वेलकम गैस टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल बायोटेक बीट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सट्रेंसिक एंड इंट्रेंसिक मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एपोप्टोसिस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ परफोरिन ग्रेनजाइम विल लीड फॉर द एपोप्टोसिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैव मिस द वीडियो ऑफ इंट्रेंसिक एंड एक्सट्रेंसिक पाथवे देन यू कैन गो थ्रू द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू विल गेट द लिंक ऑफ द पाथवेज नाउ वॉट इज परफोरेंट Perforin is a kind of pore forming protein and also known as cytoplasmic granule toxin and what is granzyme granzyme is family structurally similar serin protease stored within the cytotoxic granules of cytotoxic lymphocyte that is ctls in human there are five granzyme a b h k and n and what about in mice in mice A, B, C, D, E, F, G, K, L, M, N. Now, what is the mechanism behind the perforin granzyme pathway? So we should start with the mechanism. Whenever we are going to learn something about the mechanism, we are going for the domain structure of any kind of protein or protein. enzyme so suppose that we have a cytotoxic c t cell and in the t cell we have mhc receptor major histocompatibility receptor whenever an mhc1 class ligand binds with mhc receptor then it will activate the pi3k pathway now what is pi3k pathway PI3K pathway will be discussed in the signal transduction mechanism pathways. The receptor of MHC, that is MHC1 ligand, binds with the receptor and activate the PI3K pathway. Now, this PI3K pathway will stimulate the fusion of two kind of cell, that is A cell and B cell. In the A cell. there are stored perforin in the b cell there are stored granzyme now this activation of pi3k pathway will stimulate the fusion of these two granzyme or a or b cells now again with the fusion of this cells in a cell there are two perforin and granzyme will store or it may is called that the in a particular cell there will be a granzyme in perforin in the same cell now what will happen after this these cells or these vesicle with the help of cotranslational transport will go out the cell via vesicle form now what will vesicle do in the ctt vesicle will go out from the cell membrane and this vesicle will disrupt in the cytoplasmic space and perforin and granzymes will excrete out this is the normal mechanism but there is a regulator of this process that is sykzap70 what will it do sykzap70 block the activation of pi3k pathway how it block the pi3k activation pathway it will compete with the mhc1 ligand at the binding site of receptor it means this sykzap70 will bind to that instead of mhc1 ligand so activation of pi3k pathway will not occur so no vesicle form this whole process is done in the t cell now the simultaneous process or the continuous process will lead in the next cell that is virus infected cell or cancer cell so we have perforin and granzyme in the cytosolic space now what will happen again in a cancer cell or receptor cells there is a receptor which is formed by the perforin which is coat translate transported throughout the cell and this perforin form a channel it is pre pore complex now this pre pore complex in monomeric state 
which will go for the oligomerization how it will oligomerize it depends on the membrane attack complex and perforin domain that is pre pore complex have the n m a c p f domain or in the bacteria cholesterol dependent cytokines will go for the oligomerization of the pre pore complex now oligomerize pre pore complex have the mpr mpr means mano 6 phosphate receptor now it is the selective permeable now which granzyme have the mano 6 phosphate then they will go inside the cell so they can perform the whole reaction now granzyme b is coming to the cell now we have a pro caspase stain in the cancer cell so virus infected cell this granzyme b will activate the pro caspase stain to caspase 10 now what will happen this caspase stain will lead to the activation of pro caspase 3 pro caspase 3 will turn out into the caspase 3 we have learned in the in our previous video that caspase 3 will lead for the apoptosis via two mechanism that is by a cytos cytoskeleton disruption or via dna fragmentation how it will activate icad to form cad and cad will lead to the dna fragmentation and cytoskeleton degradation now both the dna fragmentation and cytoskeleton degradation will lead for the apoptosis but this is the normal mechanism there are also regulator for regulate this reaction pi na pi no pi9 is the only regulator or it may call the regulator which regulate the activation of pro caspase to caspase 10 how it can cas regulate pi9 block activation of cas pro caspase stain to caspase 10 by the deactivating or inactivating the granzyme b so we have the whole mechanism now in the cell perforin secrete or perforin encourage the entry of two type of granzyme it is granzyme b and granzyme a if granzyme b will enter then it will go for by this mechanism and also by the intrinsic mechanism which which lead bcl or xl b c l x family or this mechanism the there are two mechanism that is bcl x mechanism and pro caspase stand to caspase 3 mechanism if granzyme b is entering in the cell so there will possibility to activating following enzymes that is icad bed numa lamin b parp1 and tubulin if granzyme a is entering then it will activate the enzymes sat ape1 hmgb2 lamins and ku70 so in this whole mechanism we have learned that how granzyme and perforin will lead for the apoptosis now this whole mechanism of second this whole mechanism or the second part of this mechanism that is this is will occur in the cancer cell or in the virus infected cell so we have learned about the perforin granzyme pathway the perforin oligomerization will be done by the macpf domain present in the perforin domain structure so here is the three mechanism we have discussed for the apoptosis so guys in the next video we will discuss about the aging and the necroptosis of the cell so please guys like this video share our video subscribe our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get latest update of our channel thank you